Right, 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 right. We are playing Crusader Kings. Let's do this. Let's do this. Welcome back. And I do hope you're enjoying this series. We're trying to form Scotland, but we've had some setbacks. Um, murder en route. When the time comes, my, my agents will need a safe escape route escape route out of High Chieftain Aed's castle should anything go wrong. A detailed map of the local hills with all its hidden paths and caves should be an invaluable resource. Um... Pay that hunter. The hunter is discreet. Oh, thank God. Finally, something is going our way. Right. So, I'm kind of, um... Sort of raring to go here, but there is not much I can do at this time. Because I have to not be a sinner in order to actually declare war. And I want to declare war and get these counties going. Now, I wonder, can my bishop... Hold on. Hold on, lass. I'll be right with you. Lass. Council. So if I tell you to fabricate a claim, can you actually get me claims on these sort of... It's gonna take us three years to get there. No. No, 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 no. Religious relations. We need that piety up. We need to stop being a freaking sinner. Oh, it's gonna just... It's just it takes too long. It takes too long. It takes too long. Sweet Lady Hildegard, as I sigh as I kneel before her, my only desire is to bring you honor and happiness. Pray tell me, how can I prove my love to, for you? Queen Hildegard hesitates as her cheeks turn red. By God, I hope she is pleased and not embarrassed. Slay a wolf for me and bring me its pelt. Then we may continue this conversation. Okay, okay, fine, fine. Um, I... It could gain a special gift. I could return it empty-handed, though. I saw a shaggy beast. Oh, because <laughs> because I have an intrigue skill, this is an option that appears. Um, I saw a shaggy beast in the kennel. She doesn't even have expectations. Um, I will bribe a hunter. Saw a shaggy beast in the kennel. The scheme romance queen Hildrungan. Or, she could find out of my trickery. Um, I think I'll try to slay a wolf. I return empty-handed. Oh, well. I tried, didn't I? Who are you? Why are you in my lands? There's all sorts of wackiness happening over here. Wessex is expanding quite annoyingly. Okay, we need to get into Ireland as well. Wait, did you just expand? Holy crap! Jesus! Okay. We need to stop messing around. Come on, let me declare war! Jesus! Oh! Queen Hildegard is pregnant! That means you need to think about names. So get ready. Growing strong, the weakness that has plagued my daughter since her birth has finally released its hold on her. Relief washes over me as I see Snow running around with all the other children. May you grow strong, Snow. Snow. Hey! There you go. My son is almost an adult. That's gonna be good. Wait a minute, I could kill my brother's children instead of my brother. That way... That way... They... My kids could inherit the titles. Or I... Actually, I could inherit the title. Hmm... Methinks I see a way. Hold on. Romance, cats and dogs. The rain is pouring down outside. My modest Queen Hildegard sighs as she looks out the blurred window. How wretched St. Johnston can be. I wish I had someone to keep me company during long and dreary days. Is my morsel a cat person or a dog person, I wonder?
cat person. Yes! Good, 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 good. Okay, so, hear me out. Um, I'm gonna try this scheme. After it probably doesn't pan out. Hey, Domnal comes of age. With his coming of age, my tuition of Domnal is at an end. With sufficient tutelage, even a child that has displayed little natural inclination towards administration, such as Domnal, can come to truly understand. Not content with understanding the flow of wealth and people, he seems capable of predicting it as if by instinct. He always finds new ways of profiting off of it, too. Midas touched. Hello! My kid is freaking awesome. Okay. So he's Midas touched, he's zealous, ambitious, arbitrary. Okay. So this is gonna be interesting. Scheme discovered, of course. My involvement is not known. Okay, we'll we'll stop it now. Dude, who's who's like so bad at their job okay so let's try to kill my brother's kids anyway so anyway i started blasting <laughs> my daughter i need a name for my new daughter so you guys have any ideas um so who's in line who's in the line of succession so His male descendant, murder lies. Hey, 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 hey. Start that scheme. And let's make sure that we're supporting that scheme. Okay. Actually, you know what? Don't support that scheme. Just leave it as it is. Oh, hello, Groofid. Groofid is in on it. There you go. Can I actually get someone else in on it? Refuses, refuses, can be convinced. Well, somebody doesn't need a big bribe to get in on it. Invite to scheme. Okay. So, if you guys don't have any names, I'm just gonna go with uh, a good Catholic name, Maria. May you grow strong and wise. Okay. He's in on the scheme. We're doing fine. Okay. Romance the request. Lady Hildegard, let me prove my devotion to you in any way you deem fit. Hildegard ponders the request for a while before her face lights up. You should be able to sustain yourself on nothing but love with your love for me for many days. So I could become slightly starved, which means that I could get a minor penalty to my health. Um, or I could do an intrigue challenge and, and, and eat some stuff. Okay, we're gonna do it. Do it. Crap. I wasn't able to do it. Son of a bitch. Isn't this just my luck, like, every bloody time? What's happening in here? What's happening? There's a peasant revolt. Well, it's not my problem. Because I'm the bloody king! Right. So, romance. Intruder. Every time I close my eyes, I see Queen Hildegard's face. Sleep will not come. I cannot wait another moment. Cloaked in shadows, I wait. I make my way to the garden outside her living quarters. The sight of Hildegard's chamber window makes my heart stutter. So close, and yet so far. But wait, who is that? Climbing up the tower, the shady figure stops by Hildegard's window and unlatches the shatter. My treasure is in danger. I must save her. Romance, intruder, the sounds from the struggle above is the greatest motivator I have ever known. Without care for life or limb, I hoist myself through Queen Hildegard's window. I feel as if I have plunged into a frozen lake. Hildegard is on the floor, the intruder pushing her down, a gleaming blade between them. With a roar, I grab the villain by the collar and throw him into the wall. The rest is a blur. When the danger is over, I run towards her. 
What are you doing here? She asks, her voice trembling. I raise my hands, a gesture of peace. But she draws her dagger. Do not come any closer. Leave her at once, or I will hurt you. I only tried to help. Okay, so she is not having any of my crap. She hates my guts. Excuse me. These people have been imprisoned. What the heck happened with this scheme? Was it discovered? Son of a bitch. Okay, let's bribe you to get you in on the scheme. Maybe you can sort of help out a little bit. Okay. What faction has been created against me? So just some populists. There's, populists. There's not much I can do. Over here in Orkney. Wait, Orkney was was captured hello it went to Ed as well dude Ed like seriously bro stop it you're super annoying getting all this territory like he's gonna come he's gonna come and challenge my stuff I am pretty sure of it also is he at war Ed are you at war yeah, of course you are of course you are. You stupid zombie. Ed is on my council, is he not? Yes, he is. Okay, heresy, Waldensians in Austria, Duke Wilhelm of Austria has announced to the world that he and his vassals have converted, have converted to Waldensianism, organized Christian faith, we consider them hostile, they consider us hostile, no head of faith, um, they've basically separated from Catholicism, what twisted mockery of our faith is this? Okay, we got increased military presence. So we just kind of... Crusader kings. Christian pilgrims to the Holy Land suffer all manner of abuse and their roots are fraught with danger. In order to protect the pilgrims and secure Jerusalem for Christ and the faithful, His Holiness, Pope Nicholas, has accepted the possibility of an outright invasion by joint... by joint Christian forces. Deus Volt, I guess! I'm not going on any crusade. I don't know about you guys, but I've got my own stuff going on. The Pope can just, like, do their thing. To be honest. I will have no part of it. I don't know if I'm obligated to do anything. I can... I can declare a holy war. Holy war for a county. But I still can't declare a war because I'm a freaking sinner. Could declare war for my claims. Oh, hello. Murder en route. When the time comes, my agents will need a safe escape route out of High Chieftain. Fine, pay a hunter. Just freaking. Okay, good thing you were discreet. The faithful prepare for war. A papal envoy has reached my court bringing news from the Vatican. Pope Nicholas issued a call to arms to all righteous Christian rulers. As a Catholic king, I am expected to prepare my men in support of this most- But I've got stuff to do! God damn it. To all those who will take the fight against the vile infidels desecrating the holy grounds of Jerusalem, the Holy Zay promises full absolution from all sins and a guaranteed place on earth. So either I... Okay... Either I go all in, I could help finance it. Okay. I could help finance it. We got some piety. We're growing. Defenseless, it is time. One of little Ed's wet nurses is willing to do what needs to be done for enough... 
For enough compensation, of course. I wave my agent away before she finishes describing the purpose of the sharp needle. See it done. Make it happen. There you go. The deed is done. Ed will never grow up or understand the world around him. It was possibly... It was apparently simple. A sharp iron needle against the ear. Easily piercing soft skin and cartilage. I dismissed the courtier before I am given more details. Disastrously, the wet nurse was caught and named me as the perpetrator. Son of a bitch. Okay, so I got, I got some pretty nasty traits. I'm a murderer and I'm a familial kinslayer. My family hates, is gonna hate me. A calf? Like, this is a crime, hey! I spent some more piety. Okay. I had to do it. I had to do it. Had to do it to him. Gosh darn it. Well, since we're down the rabbit hole anyway, we could... We could start getting into it. Um, clear air, air, and how long does this like? This is a fame trait, so it it won't like go away, because if it doesn't go away, that's just gonna be fine. We're just gonna keep getting in there. So, for example, if I go over here, um, the next in line. He's actually got two more kids before me. Eh, in, f in for a dollar, in for a pound. That's what I say. Start scheme. Yeah, me thinks this crusade will not go very well. Hey, Intrigue Lifestyle Perk. Court of Shadows, digging for dirt. Abduction scheme. Hostile scheme, success chance. Ooh, let's do it. I'm in debt once again, but we're going to get that gold going. So, who the heck is fighting against who the heck at this point? Okay. Hmm. Hmm. So. Agent removed from scheme, of course. How are we doing in here? Can we get someone else in? Can be convinced. I could use a hook. Get in. Let's make this happen. Hey, our queen is pregnant again, so prepare them names. Prepare them names. Oh, yes. Hmm. My nephew is my new heir. No, he is not. Oh, well, look at that little mustache growing on our son over here. My son, Domnal, has lately been telling me how impressed he is with the generosity of his mom. Okay. Apparently, she came through for him when he needed it the most. It's kind of kind of her job, dude. Perhaps I was underestimating her. I lose stress. Okay. Hey, household savings. Nice. Hey, more precision. Nicely done. Now, I need to get that tribal authority up. And hopefully, that will allow us 
to Rise of the Scots, though they share common origins with the other Anglo-Saxons, the clans living in northern Britain's lowlands have adapted to life in the rugged terrain. Diverging culturally and linguistically from their former countrymen, the Scots have enthusiastically embraced their new cultural identity. Will they be able to thrive on their own? Wait, so am I a Scot now? I'm still a Gaelic. Can I convert to Scot? Um, this is you, indeed. This is me. Court vassals, things and things. Can I change my culture? Culture part of the Goidlik. Goidlik group. Cool, 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 cool. I'm the culture head. Fascination with public works. That's super cool. But, wasn't there a thing I could do? Hold on, military champions, did I? Yeah. Yeah, pretty terrible. I can, in fact, invite more champions, but I could hold off and get my tribal authority up. Let's wait for that. But there was a thing, like, I could, I could convert to culture. My daughter! What should I name her? What should I name my daughter? Hmm. Let's use something nice for Hildegard. Let's name her after her mother. Let's just do that. Okay. Now. Um... A reading in St. Johnston, it looked like it would be a tedious event once the feast's entertainment was over, but Queen Hildegard saved the day by suggesting a reading from the improvement of moral, moral qualities. Cool. I guess. Decisions, decisions, decisions. What else could we do? We could convert to local culture. There it is. Truth be told, there is little uh, separating my traditions from those of the people in my capital. We observe the same holy days, the same public feast, and our language has become almost the same. So I could become Pictish. Mm, no, that's not what I want to do. Shouldn't we become Scottish? Let's see. Where is the Scottish, Scottish culture? So, houses, empire, culture. Gaelic, Pictish, Norse. Irish Scots. There they are. We need to get them in our land. Um, the G titles. There you go. Realms. Aha. This is the map mode I was looking for. My niece was in prison. Was in prison. Shit happens. What can I say? Um, a sensual proposal. Oh, snap. It's going to get lewd up in here. My wife, Queen Hildegard, has made her way into my life with sweet words and sweeter touches. Late at night, I struggle to keep her off my mind. The feelings smoldering between us will soon either burst into flames or die out. I went to dwell forever in the inferno. Queen Hildegard might become my lover, but isn't she my wife? Isn't that kind of her job? This is romance that will burn up bright but short. How sweet, but no. <laughs> I tire of these games. Leave me alone, all of you. Um, yeah, let's go nuts. My beloved wife, as I return to the chambers I share with Queen Hildegard, I am greeted by an unexpected but appreciated sight. Our bed has been decorated with seashells and Hildegard herself is reclining on it. Smiling nonchalantly. Non... Yeah. With hands, mouth, and limbs, we reaffirm the devotion we swore before God. Perhaps in a more carnal fashion than intended. Also, Queen Hildegard was trying to seduce me. She becomes my lover, and uh, we do the hanky-panky. Anyway. So, I'm still looking to sort of fix this. 
and I want to change my succession laws, and I need some more prestige, but it's just, it's just very slow. Hey, Hildegard is pregnant again, we're just making, making babies! God damn it, I spent more piety. A barely used trail, Mormer Morgan is preparing a special trip for young Kathasa. The child trusts, this is, this is another one of my nephews, by the way. The child trusts he will be brought on an enjoyable day in the forest. Oh boy. Oof. Kathasach will unfortunately get lost and be impossible. Hey, horseradish. No worries. Thank you for being here. That's that's what matters. Um. Oh, he was so young too. A child lost in the forest. It ha it happens tragically often. Uh, God damn it. It seems Kathasach has escaped God's judgment yet again. Suffice to say, Murgen is now kept under close watch. A knife to the back sh would have done it. Son of a... If at first you don't succeed... Fine, just leave it like that for now. Okay. Have gained a manipulation hook on High Chieftain Ed. That is cool. Um, I need to change my succession laws before I die. Like, it's super important. How old are we? 39. Getting up there. Getting up there. Not much long to go. So, I need to get that tribal authority up. Unfortunately, my prestige is just not... It's just not getting up there. Like, unless we wage some wars, this is, this is just gonna be painful. How long? Oof. Just, I need like a hundred more that's gonna be a new flame. Over the years I have received a great deal of portraits from various noble women, both foreign and local. Until now they have mostly gathered dust in some attic. Perhaps I should bring them out and select my next romantic pursuit. They're too pretentious for my tastes. I become picky about partners. Acquaintance taken prisoner. Well, that's just gonna be it. It's just gonna be their loss. Anyway. Okay, they're just losing stuff left and right. Domain, succession. Ah, and a new daughter. Um. Name her after my mother, I guess. Muriel, there it is. <laughs> and just like a coward, uh, it just needs like a Eustace or something. Um, right, so I'm still kind of waiting for my plans to come to fruition. Unfortunately, just have to. Let's. Sinful Bishop, Prince Bishop. A faction targeting you has disbanded. Perfect. Looking down on the perfectly shaped seashell and imagining Queen Hildegard's smile, I can barely contain myself. It is exquisite. Do you not agree, my lord? The old merchant gestures to the seashell with a wink. The perfect gift for a, lav for a loved one. We gain opinion where love it truly is. I will take things. This junk spare me. Yeah, sure, fine. Chased by shadows, footsteps echoing down, down dark hallways, misplaced papers in my study, a shadow seen from the corner of my eye. You think someone is following you? My wife, Queen Hildegard, seems to mull it over before nodding to herself. I have noticed some suspicious things in the castle recently. I need to get to the bottom of this. Chased by shadows. Hidden in one of the more desolate hallways, one that leads to the private, most private chambers as well as the castle gardens, I wait and I watch. Was it foolish to come here? Maybe if I... Footsteps. Moving quietly down the hallway, a figure emerging from the shadows. What is Amhide doing here? Hmm... I'll continue to follow him. I follow Amhide, unnoticed, and as we near my private chambers and the castle gardens, my heartbeat rises. What is he? And this is my spy master, by the way, which is why I'm sort of worried here. What is he doing here? Distracted, I jostle a vase decorating the hallway and it crashes to the floor. 
The clamor that follows almost cover his hurried steps as they fade down the corridor, and he is soon lost to the night. Damnation! I will keep an eye out. So, like, what the heck is happening here? So if I actually go to my council, I think it's time to actually disrupt schemes. Okay. Um, it really hates me. Which, I mean, I tried to kill him multiple times and his children, and I did kill one of them, so... There's no getting around that at this point. But... Hmm. Fortunately, I'm four steps behind because he keeps having bloody kids. So that won't work. My son is my new heir. Let me check. I guess I'll just sit tight for now and I'll try to sort of sway people to not hate me. Hey, you know what? You know what, Aid? You know what? You know what? Hey, new lifestyle perk. Prepared for anything. Digging for dirt, find secrets, kidnapper, abduction. Just prepared for anything. Let's just do that. Um, can I still have an, an alliance? Declare war. I can't declare war. It can't happen. I need a level of fame. I mean, even if I declare a holy war, I can't because I'm a sinner. I'm in line to inherit titles. Fourth in line, fourth in line, fourth in line. That's, that's just good. Which is gonna have to happen. Um, anyone else who's sort of. I've been here. Flancina, who are you? Wandering irrational adventure. Irish. Murder. Get him. Get him. Basically, want to. I basically want to eliminate the competition for my son. In terms of air, if I can't manage to get that that success, those succession um, laws passed. Okay, how much longer? Queen inspires recruitful. Nice. Hold on. Just a bit more until we are no longer sinners and we can actually declare war and get some actual freaking prestige going. With the babe cra cradled in her arms, Queen Hildegard's gaze meets mine. Her eyes are full of loving devotion. My love, let us name him Cosantin after you. A lovely idea. She'll have a much better opinion of me. That's perfectly fine. Wars are happening. Who the heck is invading here? Army of Sterling, son of a... Oh, he's actually on my side. Okay, but I wanted to get that. Son of a bitch. Call to war. <sighs> Who are we fighting now? West French. Unaccept. Spend some prestige. We are going to be fighting a Lotharingia. 1,300 troops. And Basileus Basileus of the Byzantine Empire. Excuse me? West Francian claim on the kingdom of Lotharingia. Where is the kingdom of Lotharingia and why do I care? Oh, it's in here and their ally, his ally, is actually the Byzantine Empire? Really? And will the Byzantine Empire actually send troops over here? Because I don't think they will. Uh, <clears throat> um, how many troops do you have? Not that many. You know what? I'm gonna accept. We'll just see what happens. Theoretically, I could get my troops up and send them over there. They're going to cost me a bit of stuff, but maybe that'll be fine. Let's raise my army. Let's leave it to sort of gather. And let's see what we can do. So, we're fighting Lotharingia. 
Where is my ally army? How much does this cost me? 38 gold, 34 gold to get over the sea. That's gonna be fine. I still can't declare anyway, so I just need to wait a little bit. Assassin! The time has come. My agents are in place. One of them will pay, will pay the assassin the very night the deed will happen. Another will ensure the wall is unguarded. A third will leave a subtle trail of candles to flance in us bedchamber. Everything is in place. Do it. The assassin performed spectacularly and Flancina is finally Flancina! Du, 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 du. No. Um, thankfully, my involvement in the crime remains unknown. I do love surprise visits. Good. <sighs> so this is probably a dumb move, but let's get some war score going. Damn, that's a lot of troops. Hey, but they are winning, actually. It'll take me an eternity to get there, though. Get there, city. Anyway. We are losing prestige now. But hopefully, hopefully you can get more from the battles themselves. From sieging down stuff. Anyway. What I could do is... Um, get some more people killed. Hey, maybe it's like a skill. The more I do it, the better I get at it. Um... Um, um, election. Who else? Score. Who are you and why are you not dead? Murder lies. Oh, we have to wait 10 years? No, 5 years. Did we try to kill him beforehand? Can I try to kill my brother now? Murder lies. I try my nephew what do you mean my nephew is my new heir excuse me vote score oh my nephew is so gonna have to die oh I can't god damn it because I tried before and it didn't work out son of a bitch electors can I force the vote let's force the vote there you go buddy can I Force the vote of someone else? No. Ed's not looking too well. Ed's. <laughs> hey, Ed. Okay, so vote score. I don't know who you are, but I can murderize you. There you go, buddy. Let's make it happen. Okay, now where the heck's my army? Oh, there's my army. Oh, we got defeated. Son of a bitch. Of course, the Byzantine army comes after my army and doesn't go after their army. Well, that's unfortunate. I'm freaking retreating. Got my butt kicked royally. What's the Byzantine army doing up here anyway? Well, at least hopefully I'll get some, some... Do I get some involvement? Do I get some contribution to the war effort? Let's say. My war contribution is 100%. Okay, so we've contributed enough. Let's get the heck out. Um, where's my army? Okay, army. Okay, so they're retreating. Let's get the heck out of here. Um, disband army. Okay, it'll take three months for the army to get back. My counselor died. Got my butt handed to me. Okay, so we're gonna need a new marshal, right? Um, my champion would make a fine marshal, indeed. He's zealous, diligent, forgiving, skill tactician. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Let's assign him. Get him up there. My son is my new heir. Lovely. My heir is the first in line to inherit. My nephew. Oh, no, he's not. 
my niece, my niece, my nephew, and heir. Oh, I see. Okay. I need to kill my nephew. To the vile King Kozantin, you have been corresponding with your have been corresponding with your Chancellor, High Chieftain Ed, and has been a sh shameful diplomatic display. Who are you? Why do I care about your opinion? Your opinion does not matter to me because I'm going to declare war on you and I'm going to take all of your stuff, basically. But shh, it's a secret. Wait, he has allies? He's got two allies now? No, he's got a truce. He... Yeah, I don't care. I don't care about your opinion of me. Oh, come on. I am known for my dedication to my faith, which means there have been war in times. All right, laddie. Declare that war. Conquer that county. Declare that war. Okay, now we get to the fun stuff. I need to raise my armies. All right, lads. Get him. All that glitters. My spy master, I'm hide. Finally, some actual good freaking wars. Uh, my spy master, I'm hide, approaches me with a wicked grin. My lord, this pouch contains a powder most... You know, we've tried the powder again, guys. We tried the powder before. Like, seriously. Just do it. And don't mess it up. Okay, so let's see where this, this army is heading. I should be able to catch up to him. I'll win decisively. We'll probably destroy his army. And here's the new battle. Um, I think we should have... Some, we had battles before. Don't, don't mind me. Okay, so let's see how we're doing. So we've... He's got uh, skirmishers, but we're countering them with our bowmen, right? He's also got horsemen, but we're countering them with our spearmen, right? So, and he's getting like, they're getting, his soldiers are getting huge debuffs because of our counters, right? Our superior numbers and all of that. So... Uninvited, one of my agents has acquired a deadly spider and arranged for a servant to hide it in Domnal Dabail's uh, bed before dark. And this is our, just a random dude that wants, like, it's, is in the running for the, um, for the air election. I hope you're not afraid of spiders, Domnal. Domnal Dabal is dead by the lethal bite of a deadly spider. The spider struck not long after he retired to his chambers, and although guards were called, no one could do a thing to save him. Thankfully, spiders do not talk. So the attack cannot be traced back to me. My little friend has done its work well. Okay, now let's try to get a stack wipe. Hildegard is pregnant again. We lost the war. Unfor uh, fortunately, I don't want anything from us, and we do get prestige. Lovely. Now, realm. Tribal authority. Limited tribal authority. Pass that law! Okay. Now then, can go to the thing. Powerful vassal demands council position. Who are you? Why do I care? You are Mormer Gila Blan Mc something. But you're terrible at everything. Well, well, my steward. Hold on, my steward. Level eighteen, but he is a powerful vassal. Um. But he doesn't... I don't think he has any other skills. So, okay. You want... Okay, I'll, I'm gonna sway you. 
right? I'm gonna try to befriend him so that even though he wants like a position, he'll probably just shush for a while. Um, children lack guardians. We should need to get that fixed. Um, you know what, Ed? I'm gonna get an alliance with you, which is gonna be fine. Um, another thing that we could do. My acquaintance fought had died. No! Fought had! No! Okay. Um, let's get our guardians up. Hold on. Here you go. Gosh darn it, that's a lot of kids. Seven kids, Catholics, am I, am I right? Hey! Um. You're 22. Wait, I can still educate you. Oh, he could educate someone. My daughter. I could imprison her. Um, you should be getting... You got educated already. Wait, who can I educate? Oh, okay. So you have a guardian. You, I can educate, and actually, I'm gonna... I need someone who's very, very good at intrigue. I guess that's just gonna be me. Okay. Next kid. Educate kid. Um, how about someone who's good at learning? The Archbishop. He loves me. Get in. What else? You have a guardian, you... I can educate as well. Um, let's get somebody who's good at diplomacy again. Uh, Francois, my champion. Get in. And someone else uh, who's good at martial once again. And that's going to be Alo, my new champion. Send that proposal, get in. There you go. So we're educating our children. We're not just leaving them to run around and be happy. Okay, and let's get into that fight. We will win decisively. Marvelous, marvelous news. We're in an alliance. The Battle of Ramsey. Because it's freaking raw. So his name is Alo. Alo. You know, Byz Byzantini. Okay. Oh, no. Anyway. Enemy combatants captured. Let's see if we can sort of send them back. Um, council. No, court. Prisoners. Yes, I can ransom you. Let's get that money. Okay. A good deal. Now then. Now then. We need to siege this down. Unfortunately, we don't have any siege weapons. Because we don't know how to build siege weapons right now. Um, because our tech level is not there yet. I can declare wars. I can call allies to war. I can have an active... I can invite champions. Um, and I do have the prestige to do so. Do it, make it happen, and I have the gold to support them as well. I could go on a pilgrimage then, after we get the gold going. Prisoner release, enemy combatants captured, come on. Come on, come on, siege it down, siege it down. Let's get that 100% war gold. Champion. Oh, he hates my guts. Well, everybody hates my guts, to be honest, right now, right? Because like, I'm terrible. Retreat to court. There you go. Like, if I, if I slept with my sister, I'd be Jamie Lannister right now. I'm the Kinslayer, get it? Um, tidbits from far away. Okay, so it's the local market thing again. Um, he will tell me this should cover... Okay, pay for it so that we definitely get the benefits. Prisoner taken in siege. Nicely done. Let's try to ransom them off. Let's check the court. The prisoners ransom... Money, money, money. Wait for a favor. For a favor. 
on mail. My prisoner and sister. Okay. I'd like a favor from... <laughs> this does not <laughs> bode well with, the <laughs> with uh, the joke I made earlier about Jamie Lannister. Hey! Getting a favor from my sister. Hey! Noise. Anyway, Lurban comes of age. With her coming of age, my tuition of Lurban is at an end. For the longest time, I was hoping that good tutelage would be enough to teach Lurban the intricacies of diplomacy. All efforts have come to naught, however. Few at, my, at any court would be overly impressed by her grasp of etiquette, but at least she does know how to hold her own in polite company. So, basically, she's n not great. They grew up so fast. Um, let's marry her off! Spouse. Choose someone for Lurban Alpen to marry. Now, alliance power. Petty Kingdom of Mercia. Where is the Petty Kingdom of Mercia? Down here. Don't care. Um, Lotharingia. Ah, that, that could be good. Prince Hugues. Hugues. French, too. Good. Oh damn, they are related and there is a risk of their children children becoming inbred. Hmm. Okay, you know what? Let's clear the characters. So let's look for people that have inheritable traits, at least one good inheritable trait, and we'll not think about anything wacky like that. So he's quick. That's in her dual trait. He's, he's hail. Uh, more prowess. Um, and we'll try to get matrilineal. Let's see if we can get Swabian. Johan! Um, we lose. Because we're marrying unlanded, we're losing prestige. But I don't get it. Like, she loses prestige, but does, that, does this mean that my whole family loses prestige? Okay, so that's not going to work out. Let's look over here. French, Robert Capet. Potential alliance with the county of Anjou. Anjou is, is very small. And that's not going to... Probably not going to be very fun, but let's... Let, let's do it anyway. So I'm going to get Robert Capet. She's, he's roughly her age. Um, they're related, so they might get inbred children, but there's gonna, but they're gonna be his. <laughs> they're gonna be born into their dynasty. So if they get, hey, if they get inbred children, that's on them. I sent the proposal. That's they can, they can just not accept. And a new daughter. Um, get our good Kath, Joan, Judith. Joan. I quite enjoy Joan. What the hell? Did it just type the other way around? Okay. And... Okay, we've got an alliance. We've got a new baby on the way. Um... And let's... Okay, Intrigue, Lifestyle, Perk, let's get the... Let's get the... Wait, what did Dark Insights do when you torture someone? One Intrigue and one Prowess. I mean... Well, let's, let's dig for dirt a bit better. Notable guest has arrived. Let's see our champions. Oh, oof. They're just not as good as I had hoped, I have to say. I was kind of hoping for better champions, but I guess this lot will have to do. Um, Is this siege over? Like, how long is this siege? Okay, because we need to get 100% war score and then we can get our new county up and going and that'll be our personal holding for now and then we're gonna send it off to a vassal 
Additional taxes, yes! Oh, yes! Nice. Okay. We've got 100%. We can now enforce our demands. We gain the contested title. We get 75% fame. Uh, we get some prestige. And there you go. And now, we should have a truce with this person. Truce with Count uh, no ally truce with the petty king and that truce will last five years after those five years we'll be able to declare war again and I'm gonna disband all my armies and I'm gonna start to think about declaring on the isles <sighs> we've got similar armies but I'm so afraid that he has so much more armies than I do and he does af indeed have two allies that's a problem that is the problem, and the problem is, uh, I mean, sure, Monsieur Whiteshirt over here will probably join in, probably kick my butt while he's at it, and, but this dude over here, like, won't freaking send troops over, I don't think, not in time, at least, um, low county controlling Galloway, okay, um, so control is basically like a, a, like how, how unruly basically this, this county is, right? They don't believe I am the rightful ruler and all that jazz because I conquered them. In order to change that, I need to go to my council and I need to go to Alo and increase the control in this county, right? And he'll basically work on that and make sure that... Things don't get awry, don't uh, get awry, awry in there. Now, if I were to change my succession laws, male preference, can I do it now? I still need high crown authority. What does high crown authority mean? And how do I bloody adopt the feudal ways? I do not fill the requirements. You have to have the law absolute tribal authority. Um, Catholicism, level of fame, development level in the Mormon of Gary is greater to an equal and have all tribal era innovation. So since we're all still a tribe and it's going to be a while until we can actually change our, um, um, change our laws, apparently, so we'll have to play the tribal thing, right? The scheme at court, my spy master has come to me with grave news. While we do not know yet who, someone is plotting to kill my marshal. Allo. Okay. Well, that's that's not good. Faction created against me. Oh, just some discontent. Just some Catholic populist vassals who cannot join factions. Okay. Um, good, but, I mean, sure, that, I can expect that that since we conquered new territory and they're pretty unruly. But for intrigue, intrigue, discovered murder, hello, what can I do about this? Can I, actually, so you should disrupt the schemes, there you go. That way, hopefully, that'll be okay. Um... Let's see what... Uh, we should have more champions available to us. Okay, okay I'm going to recruit them to the court and hopefully they'll get in before the rest of them. Damn, Alo is freaking amazing as a champion, at least compared to the other dudes. Um, so we got that territory. We kind of have to wait for our um, sort of truce to, to go away and then we'll be able to declare war once again we could conquer that county declaring war will break the truce lose one level of fame yada yada, yada. right and I'm gonna take this basically county by county for now Marshall earns respect good um, so as but for the Isles 
Can I try to myrtleize? I can't do it. I need to wait a bit more. Can I try to myrtleize my bro? My bro? Murder? Oof. Friendly exchanges. Hey. Good. My nephew is my new heir. This is not good. This is not boding well. I need to take out all the other competitors. So my son, I can't try to kill I could try to imprison him. Scheme at court. My spy master has come to me with a discovery. He is certain that my champion, Grimmer, is scheming against my Marshal Alo. Throw him in jail. He's exposed as an agent. He loses opinion. He loses more opinion. Whether true or not, I will not accuse him. Wait. Grimmer is one of my champions. So, let the traitor be known to all. So, no, throw him in jail. You don't mess with me, buddy. Okay, I can ransom you off. What do you mean it's no longer valid? Ransom. This interaction is no longer valid to send. Dude. What the heck? Okay, let's reopen the court. Court, prisoners, in prison. Frick's sake, negotiate release. You could demand a conversion to Catholicism. You could banish him. You could gain a weak hook. You can take the vows. What does the take the vows mean? Oh, he could become a monk! <laughs> okay, so the weak hook and the conversion he would do as well, but he wouldn't do like all three of them. So, no, I, I'll just like get a conversion. Banish, banished from your realm. Um, will not accept. Fine. Then you just sit there and rot and think about what you did. Yes, yes. Ill, my mortal body, king or peasant, high or low, it does not matter. In the end, we are all mortals. Ah, crap. I was reminded of this as I woke coughing in the early morning hours, a dull ache pounding through my head and throat. You seem to be under the weather, my lord. I know a fair number of suitable remedies. Do no more than what is necessary and don't let me die. Ill, a little brighter. I feel better. Okay. But anyway, I think that's going to be it for today. So thank you so much for watching over there on YouTube. Um, and uh, take care. Take care. And I'm super excited. We're going to be playing a lot of Crusader Kings these days. Oh boy. I can't wait to see what this, game's holds in, what this game holds in store. Again, I did not spoil myself. I just played a couple hours to kind of get the gist of it. Hopefully, we'll do better. So uh, cheers.